Hey YouTube, um, it's me, XPT. I'm here to show you how to make custom sliders, docks, and status bars today. This was on a request of a guy named Bobby4840. Anyways, um, this is the Windows version. It was the same as the Mac, except for WinSCP. Uh, but I'll guide the Mac users on that one also. Um, let's get started. So, click your image. Get your images off the internet, whatever. I'll be making the dock first, by the way. So I'm picking the Pokemon thing. Um, you're going to crop your image to 320 by 91. Alright, so you're going to grab the tool up and width. You're going to put 320. Uh, so 320px. Height, you're going to put 91px. Then you're going to crop your image. Um, if yours image is in similar size to 320 by 91, you can just simply go to image, image size, make sure constraint proportions is ticked off. You're going to enter the dimensions here. Make sure it's on pixels. Hit OK there. Now, make sure the background is transparent if you want it. Transparent if you don't, then you can leave it, whatever. Um, so in order to make a transparency you gotta make sure there is no lock right here if there is just drag it to the garbage bin down at the bottom and then delete it should be transparent so you go to file save as you're gonna need a doc capital D O C K make sure it's in PNG format save it and close this then you're gonna now I'm gonna make another one. This will be the status bar. Status bar is 320 by 20. So I'm gonna crop this image. So hit enter that is gonna be my status bar. Uh, you're gonna go to file, save as, you're gonna write status bar, capital S and capital B. There is no space in between status bar. Make sure it's in PNG format, like so. So it should look like that. Hit save. Close it. Next will be the sliders. Now the sliders proportions have to be, I think, 71 by 49. You can make it smaller than 71 by 49 if you like. Don't make it bigger because sometimes it won't work. Don't make it too small, it might not work. So I'm going to put mine um, 49 by 49 px and I am going to grab this one right here. So then I am going to delete the background. So you're going to grab the magic wand, click the border if you want it transparent like I do. You're going to make sure this lock is in the garbage bin. Then you're going to hit delete. There, that's transparent. Um, you're going to click on. You're going to click on file. Save as you're gonna call this one bottom bar knob gray. This is to unlock your phone. Slider to unlock. So all this is lowercase by the way. So B O T T O M B A R K N O B G R A Y. Enter. Now you're gonna make an now to make the one to answer a phone call just simply change the color or get a new image if you want I'm gonna change the color I'm gonna put it to green and if it doesn't change color then you gotta make sure it's in the right mode it is in the right mode for some reason it didn't change color
I got no clue why it's not changing in the color. Sorry about that. So this is to answer a phone call. Um, I'm gonna make it green. I'm gonna click on File, Save As. So it's, it'll be the same as the first one, except you're not gonna call it gray. You're gonna call it green. So bottom bar knob green. Hit save and then I'm gonna change the color again. This one, this slider, this next one I'm doing will be to turn off your phone. Okay, so I'm gonna make it red. Click on file, save as, bottom bar knob. And so it should be bottom bar knob red. You're gonna make a folder, call it whatever you want. I'm calling it XX. And just to show you guys that that theme is not in my theme already, I'm gonna open up Winterboard, and there's no XX theme on there. Okay, you're gonna drag drag your dock and your status bar into the folder you're going to open up the folder you're going to make a new folder you're going to call that bundles capital B U N D L E S open it up another new another folder and this one you're going to all all lowercase except for three letters so com c o m dot a p p l e dot capital T E L E P H O N Y capital U capital I and now drag your sliders into there and that's it now all you have to do is SSH your phone or iPod touch and you're going to click back once up here. Mac users will have an arrow somewhere around here or you can use your search bar. You're going to click on the one that says private slash var. Alright. So go back once. Click on stash. And then there's a folder called themes. You're going to drag your theme that you made and you're going to put it in there. And then uh, open up Winterboard once it's finished uploading. As you can see, it's right at the top. So I will check it. And there you go. I check marked it. Hit enter or whatever home. And I'm just going to wait for this thing to load. And okay. There you go, there's the unlock slider, there's the status bar, and there's the dock that says Pokemon. Anyways, let's take out some icons. So you can see it says Pokemon back there. And when you turn off your phone, there's the red slider. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Send me requests for another video, like that guy Bobby did, whatever. If you guys want it on a Mac version, I'll do the Mac video. If you want a PC, I'll do PC, whatever. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm XPT, and I am out.